what should i do if i have unprotected sexual intercourse what should i do if i am being raped hello my name is blessing i'm a health and lifestyle content creator so you're welcome to my channel so one thing that comes to your mind when we talk about unprotected sexual intercourse i know it is pregnancy and sti sexually transmitted infection those are the two things that come to your mind and you did not know that it is much more deeper than that yes it is Unprotected sexual intercourse is when you have sex without condom or any form of contraceptive. That is when you can call it unprotected sexual intercourse. Or you might have used maybe a condom but in one way or the other it got broken so it is also unprotected sexual intercourse. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is pregnancy. To prevent pregnancy, you have unprotected sexual intercourse you don't want to get pregnant in terms of pregnancy now the most important thing that you need to do after having unprotected sexual intercourse is to take a post pill an emergency pill and the most popular one that we know is postenal too so you need to take this medication to prevent pregnancy and you need to take this within 72 hours that is three days you need to take it within three days remember the earlier you take it, the better because the efficiency of the medication will keep on reducing as time goes by. So if you take it within 24 hours, within 48 hours, you know you're doing yourself good. But if you're taking it later than 72 hours, my sister, I can't help you. So you need to take it ASAP. Some people also use IUD, so it depends on the one you're comfortable with. It is also advisable that you do a pregnancy test after two to three weeks. After two to three weeks that you have this unprotected sexual intercourse, it is important that you take a pregnancy test to be sure that you are not pregnant. That is why you are taking the pregnancy test. The reason why you have to wait for this long period is because the human coronary gonadotrophic hormone that is responsible for pregnancy hormone might not be enough in your blood to give you a valid pregnancy test if you do it earlier than this week uh, the number of weeks that i have stated two to three weeks if you do it earlier than that you might not be able to get a valid result in terms of sexually transmitted infection how can you prevent sexually transmitted infection when you have unprotected sexual intercourse the first thing that you need to do when you have unprotected sexual intercourse is to urinate it is very very important for you to urinate it is important for you to pass urine immediately after sex because when you pass urine whatever it is that has been deposited in your body bacteria name it it is important that you urinate because when you urinate it tends to flush it out of your body it is healthy for you to urinate after sex you also need to hydrate like you need to drink more water if you drink more water you urinate more and you reduce your risk of getting uti urinary tract infection so it is important for you to hydrate after sexual intercourse also it is important for you to have a warm bath yes you need to have a warm bath wash yourself clean yourself very well and clean down there i did not mean you douching or washing your vagina you can't even wash what you can't see eh? so that is why you need to clean the vulva not the vagina so the vulva is the one with the big two leaves the labia major and labia minora the clitoris and all of that those are the ones that you need to wash so you can clean it you can wash with a feminine soap or scented soap or scented soap i don't mean your normal or your usual bathing soap no on scented soap you can use it to wash it pat it dry that is it those are the things that you have to do immediately after unprotected sexual intercourse and if you know that you're doubting your partner you're not sure if your partner is you know you don't know the hiv status that is the human immunodeficiency virus of your partner it is important that you visit the hospital as soon as possible and let them know that you've had unprotected sexual intercourse and you're not sure that your partner have this type of condition they might give you a prophylaxis that will give you immunity against the virus so it is important that you speak up asap 
and not sit at home and then you start going after some weights and like that. No. So you need to speak up immediately. Even if you trust your partner that okay, this person is not having this virus, you still need to go to the hospital. Yes, specimens still need to be taken, vaginal sub needs to be done, history needs to be taken because most of the time, all these sexually transmitted infections like syphilis, like gonorrhea, you cannot detect it like immediately on the spot. No, you have to, you know, it has to be there for some time before you can detect it. All right. So there will, I'll be telling you some signs and symptoms that you need to watch out for when it comes to urinary tract infection. You know, when you feel all these signs, you need to visit your doctor immediately. Signs and symptoms like itchiness, vaginal discharge, you know, when you are having painful urination, lower abdominal pain, cloudy urine, all these things you should look out for it. And when you see all these things, you should visit your doctor and seek for help, okay? Thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you find it useful and you can also share with your friends. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.